I'm sure that everybody able to earn money here. One million dollars plus? Yeah, it's just fun. 10,000 uh, new deposit players. How are you going to reach it? 100 websites. Thousands of players. Brazil, Venezuela, Serbia, Greece. People working all around the world. 500 brands. 70% profit margins. Quite a big amount. The sky is the limit. Hi, everyone. My name is Vasily Gamov. I am Chief Marketing Officer at Richards at Tech Holding. Today we are recording the special offline episode of Ads and Grants. We came to Riga, Latvia to figure out is it possible to earn some money in iGaming industry by using SEO technologies. Why did our heroes settle here in Latvia? Latvia is a European country with high standard of living, where people are highly motivated to work hard. Riga has become an immigration hub where high qualified specialists, including those from affiliate industry, flock. In this video, we're gonna show you how to earn some big money by using iGaming industry's growing content websites and of course with the help of SEO. So, let's figure it out. Is it possible to earn $1 million a month by using SEO websites? Let's go! We are in the office of Media24 company. These guys earn money by using SEO technologies. We have Martin and Martin is CEO of this company. Could you tell us a little bit about your way in the affiliate marketing? I started, uh, I started like SEO, it was uh, in 2007. Uh, I worked a long time and uh, I met one guy from Russia. Uh, he wanted to expand the company in Europe. And I started like a country manager in this company. After some while, I get some shares. And uh, all the time I had uh, this feeling that I need to make my own. And in the last year, I sold my shares and uh, in May we started uh, Made It 24. So you're CEO of this company uh, for one year already? Okay, great. W was it hard to launch the company like that? I felt no, because uh, I before worked uh, in a uh, similar company, so it wasn't so hard. Okay, on your website it is mentioned that you help iGaming industry grow. How do you help them exactly? Uh, we have uh, affiliate uh, websites uh, with uh, bookmaker, casino reviews. And what, what content? What content do you post there? There's different content like uh, reviews, uh, betting school, uh, some bonuses, some tips. So yeah, that's all. Uh, do you produce content like predictions or forecasts for betting, for example? We have in some websites, but uh, we more focus on uh, like uh, sport uh, books, uh, lists, not uh, more on reviews. We make more reviews. And you chose the way uh, to promote uh, betting offers instead of casinos mainly, yeah? Uh, yeah, because so. yeah, because we like uh, I like sport, and my other team guys also like sport, and uh, we have a big experience in the sport, and uh, we making sport betting websites. Mm -hmm. And generally, why did you choose SEO like a way of promotion, not PPC or other traffic sources? I started SEO in 2007 and uh, I have a big experience and it's from 2007. So I, I work in the SEO like more like a de decade. So yeah, we choose uh, SEO because of uh, with, uh, our experience. Okay, great. And how do you earn from these websites? Uh, we monetize uh, through affiliate platforms. Clients come to our website and uh, we send these clients to our, our partners, operators, uh, sport betting companies, casinos. Great. And what are the payment models like revenue share, CPA? What deals do you use? We have a CPA, uh, revenue share, some hybrids, but most of all we like revenue share. Why? Because our philosophy is to work in a long distance. And uh, in long distance revenue share is uh, most uh, better uh, deal. Uh, how much times it's bigger? Like two times bigger or three times? Uh, uh, how many times I speak with uh, operators, they told that they ha had uh, some clients who work on uh, partners, affiliates, who work on CPA and they was calculating and they told that if they work with revenue share it will be like uh, three times more. Uh, what affects your earnings most? Like impressions on the websites or customers' da database? Uh, it's it's database. Uh, if you have uh, many clients, you will have a good commission. 
Uh, do you have any additional monetization on these websites like listings or email marketing? We have uh, listing fees, banners and yeah, and some others. Do you try to collect your own database like collecting emails on landing pages and promote offers to them, something like that? Right now we don't have, but uh, on some websites so we already started. Oh great, and what are results are there? Uh, right now we have only a database. Uh, we don't didn't send emails or promotions, so right now we are doing SEO, what we know the best, and uh, right now and uh, we're trying uh, search for another way to monetize also. Do you have any difficulties with advertisers or regulations while promoting such websites? Uh, we know our traffic, and uh, we don't have a problems because uh, our traffic is quality, and uh, our uh, partners don't have uh, questions about. Uh, and what are the most popular countries? For your websites? For our websites, Spain, Portugal, uh, Brazil, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Malaysia, and we have uh, like uh, 50 websites, so we have uh, traffic from many countries. Oh, great. And you mentioned you earn by revenue share mainly, but are there any other ways to monetize your websites, like f flat uh, promotions or any other models? Uh, we, we have like uh, listing fees. Uh, Banners in betting schools, uh, flat fees. So yeah, it's on the space also. And most probably, it's a high competitive niche. Uh, how do you uh, fend them off? <laughs> we don't fend them off because uh, we we are doing what we know, and we are doing the best uh, for uh, our clients, and we are making uh, websites to our clients, not for Google or something else. And I believe in. Uh, long distance uh, we will get much more back uh, from this style of work. Yes, but why are you better than your competitors? Uh, why, why we are better? Yeah. Oh, so because uh, I think I already told that uh, we, we're making these websites for uh, our clients who is coming and searching for new, uh, new bookmakers or uh, new casinos where to uh, make a registration. Oh, great. Let's talk a little bit about your business, about your business model. Is it profitable and how much did it uh, take to make it profitable? Oh, it depends because, uh, for example, uh, we right now don't focus on uh, the revenue. We mo most focus uh, on the long distance to make uh, new websites to uh, all income that we have, we try to invest back and uh, make mo more projects, uh, more different uh, directions. And how much time is, does it usually take uh, to get profits from one website, for example? Oh, it depends because uh, there is uh, different countries, different uh, level of competitions in these countries. So it can be uh, half a year and it can be uh, two and three years. Oh, really? And what is your com company goals for 2023? Uh, for our goals is to make uh, 10,000 uh, new deposit players. And how much money will it bring potentially? Uh, I can say because it's sport betting and uh, people win, people lose money, so and uh, it, it's hard to tell. So 10,000 deposits, quite a big amount. How are you going to reach it? What do you do for that? Uh, like always, it's the same what we are doing right now. We'll make these websites, content, uh, that's all. How many websites do you need to create to reach this goal? Uh, we already have like a 54 websites and uh, I believe that with this amount of websites we will reach this uh, goal. Okay, great. Uh, what is the main strategy to reach $1 million in income for this company? Like building websites, uh, how many? To reach one million dollars per month. It can be one website, it can be uh, ten websites, or uh, maybe one hundred websites. Yeah, uh, it depends uh, of uh, how uh, how you work with this. It, it's it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, and by the way, how how Google updates may affect your business. For example, now there are like AI technologies and so on. It changes instantly. Uh, what's going on? How it's affect your business? Oh. Uh, it uh, can affect, affect everyone because it's Google and it's like a monopoly. But uh, we believe that what we are doing, uh, we choose our strategy in a long distance and uh, I believe that uh, it will only, all updates only will help 
because in the last years there was I don't even remember like 10 uh, updates and each update we didn't lose traffic we even get better and better each time so our strategy is uh, right now it's uh, good for Google yeah and yesterday I've heard uh, on the meeting in Riga something about uh, launching AI search results for in the US for example so uh, do you lose positions because of such uh, innovations or not? Yeah, I also heard and read about this and uh, I see that uh, if they will launch this, uh, they will take a, like a, in a mobile, like a half of a screen. So yeah, we will lose some traffic, but I believe in a long distance, uh, it's, uh, we will not lose so money. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. We met Valentin, Chief Commercial Officer at Media24. Valentin, could you tell us about your affiliate marketing career? Yeah, of course. Hi, Vasily. Nice to meet you here in Riga. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation, uh, because to be honest, it's the first time for me when I attend an uh, offline interview. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'm worried a little bit, but let's see what will be as results. Uh, so, about my experience, I've uh, started my way as a marketing manager in the Native Advertising Network. It was uh, already over six years ago, and I remember when our first met with you uh, in, uh, in the Minsk airport. It, that it was, was funny, a, yeah, yeah kind of. It, it, it was the first time when we met with you, and uh, it was as well six years ago. Uh, after this position, I have been promoted in the product manager position at the same company. Uh, if you talk about my previous position, it uh, was uh, a head of growth in, uh, in the affiliate network, in the gambling affiliate network. And uh, from December of 2022, I'm a chief commercial officer at Media24. Nice. How do you like this industry? Uh, to be honest, I'm sure that everybody is able to, to earn money here. You're here only because of earning money or any uh, other? It's not all. It's Reasons? not all. I'm really interested in gambling. You know, because uh, I gamble sometimes in the offline casino here, for example, in Riga, in Malta as well. And uh, you're a gambler yourself. A little bit, sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes. And uh, it's how much a... do you spend in the casino? Uh, <laughs> Just no, per no, evening. No, <laughs> per evening. You know? Yeah, well, one thousand dollars. You remember that beer and uh, all drinks is for free in casinos. <laughs> yeah, At I least remember. Here in Riga. It affects the budget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, okay. Without be beers and drinks, yeah. it could be not so much, not so much, maybe 200 euros. Oh, just to euros. have fun. Yeah, it's just fun. I don't would like to, to, to win uh, in uh, slots or something else. I understand that in long term, casino will win you. You earn your money in other ways. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. I, I earn my money in another side. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. And let's switch to the main part of the discussion. Yeah. Uh, as we already discussed with Martin, it's uh, uh, your company has about like uh, 54 websites. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit more about it? Mm -hmm. Is it crucial to launch them all in one time or it's better to go step by step mm -hmm. and launch it one after another? Yeah, it's true. At the moment we've got uh, 54 websites. Uh, mostly it is uh, betting websites. Uh, and I can say that, it, uh, that uh, we, we have launched it at once. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not uh, saying that it's uh, exactly the right strategy. It depends on uh, how much funds you have. Uh, it depends on are you ready to take risks and many, many, many other things. So for us, it was so. So we launched 54 websites at once. Yeah. Nice. And what kind of websites do you launch? Uh, you launch like betting or casinos websites. Mm -hmm. What is your focus? Mm -hmm. At the moment, we've got mostly betting websites. And uh, to be honest, it's uh, only due to our experience. So uh, in the next quarter, we would like to, to spend more time to casino websites. And we have enough funds for it and enough expertise for it as well. So let's see what we we'll are there any differences between betting and casino players? Of course, exactly. It's uh, different kinds of audience. So if we talk about betting players, uh, about topical betting player, for example, yeah, uh, these guys uh, would like to find one brand and will play in this brand, will bet in this brand for many years later. If we talk about casino, it's different uh, kind of players because uh, 
uh, people looking for uh, people are looking for many new casinos all time you know so new slots new games uh, new design everything should be in you in 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 each one casino and it, of course a different kind of audience yeah uh, is it possible to convert betting audience into casino and vice versa yeah 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 it's true it's possible and uh, i think that all brands do it of course do uh, you do it by the way uh, we are on our in our websites no yeah of course it, it, it is uh, on the brand side so uh, we bring players to betting for example and uh, in the betting platform sites they they are able to to convert it in the in the casino players for example Nice. And what is the difference in LTV between betting and casino players? Uh, yeah, of course the difference is, and uh, the LTV of betting players higher, higher. How um, much higher? I think in two, three times in long-term distance, of course. Wow. Yeah, of course. Sounds good. Sounds good. What kind of materials do you use on your websites, or and w which of them converts better? Uh, of course, the most available for us uh, is the top of brands in each website, of course. Uh, but if you would like to attract more audience, uh, you have to create a separate section. For example, we've got uh, betting schools on our websites where people are uh, trying to, 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 to study how to bet. And uh, for example, we have uh, the forecast side on our website. And uh, it is mostly about, uh, for example, Chim World Cup right now. Yeah and people looking for what what will be as a result in the, each one game. Yeah, and what about uh, most converting materials? It's news uh, articles about championships or maybe there are any other approaches? No, it's mainly, mainly, and of course, most valuable for us is uh, top of brands, of course. Top of brands, Yes. so just brand reviews? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, nice. And is it a good idea to create websites for separate brands or only top lists, as you mentioned? For example, what if I create a website for special game or special casino or special betting product? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that it is a good strategy, to be honest. Because uh, if you focus on one game, for example, or one brand, for example, you have to understand that uh, one time uh, you will lose your traffic because time changes. So it's about trends, yeah. Yeah, of course, it's about all time. It's about trends because, uh, for example, for today we can find new casino and uh, it will be in life, for example, for two months. And if you will create a website for this casino, you will lose your traffic. After yeah, probably months, you've months. heard this trend about the game called Aviator, yeah? Yeah, of course. Many websites about Many websites game. about Aviator right now, but I think that in two years uh, it will be finished. Okay, so the main approach is to include as much brands as possible. Yeah. Yeah, for us it's so. But uh, as I said before, maybe somebody got another strategy as well. It work, but uh, right now we do so. And what do you think about new brand promotions? Is it a good idea, or it's better to uh, work with old players on the market? Uh, it's time to time, you know. So if you see that uh, it's really good product, if it's not, uh, for example, the product that uh, copied previous some brands, for example, yeah, it's a good idea. Why not? Could you share some examples of good old products and interested new ones? Hmm. It's a very, very good question. To be honest, I don't know at the moment about uh, really good new brands right now, because at the moment we've got more than 500 brands on our website. We can, yeah. we can see it in our stats, of course, but a little bit later. Uh, how do you improve your productivity of the content? Do you use like native speakers to write it, or you use maybe something like DeepL, you know, translators or artificial intelligence yeah, yeah. Uh, in my opinion right now if you not use uh, native speakers in the content strategy it's not possible to get traffic from search uh, did you try to compare these strategies like with native speakers and artificial intelligence uh, and how no, big is the difference artificial intelligence at the moment no uh, but uh, if you talk in general but you tried uh, something tra like translator tools like DeepL, for example or google translator uh, at the moment, no, as well, but uh, you can but use in the these previous? tools, uh, sometimes yes, of course, but uh, it you, works can, also? you can use it just like a basis, mm -hmm. basic, you know, for your content strategy, but of course you need native speakers for edit this content. Okay, and how big is the difference when you use native speaker 
and you use like this as I said tools. before as I said before if you will use uh, automatic tools yeah you maybe you have it. some statistic I mean no. on, in deposits or in no. traffic volumes to be honest no because uh, I think 90% of our business 90% of our time uh, we use uh, only native speakers because we see difference in results oh know? that's a good approach course, because yeah. as I said you will never get traffic from search if you will not use uh, native speakers nice and let's talk some about keywords what SEO uh, queries do you use how do you choose them how to understand what to start with if I'm a newbie in this uh, industry <laughs> one more time it depends on your strategy of course but if you talk about us uh, we focus on uh, main queries uh, I can I can tell you some examples for example betting online or mm -hmm. uh, betting online via Visa Mastercard or something same so it's called uh, general keywords yeah so it's most valuable keywords in the search but of course you should understand that is uh, the competition in this environment very high so our strategy is uh, starts from low value keywords for example if you talk about betting school uh, we try to attract people who are looking for how to start bet mm -hmm. and after this we grow our website in the search and uh, we promote our website in the first position for example uh, on the general keywords for example and how, how do you look for these keywords do you use any special tools uh, yeah of course of uh, course. which ones course. for example Ahrefs uh, for example I don't know of course Google Analytics as well but it's better to ask about it our head of ICO is, sure is it I a know. good strategy to use only general keywords or low value it's the best keywords? Strategy. If you are able to promote your website on the first position in general keywords, but it requires like much bigger budgets, yeah? Yes, of course, of course. Okay. In times bigger, you know. So it if I'm in two times, three times bigger, so. Yeah. So if I'm in UB and uh, I want I want to launch my first website, yeah. it's better to use low value keywords, yeah? I guess yes. Uh, and uh, another one strategy is that uh, you can use uh, brand how, keywords. How to find best, like best uh, low conversion keywords? Uh, what, what should I pay attention? Because it's know, low, it, probably it has like low traffic volumes. No, yeah? It's not about volume. It's not about volume, about, it's about the audience. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, let's ima imagine that uh, you are looking for a casino where you would like to get uh, no deposit bonus. Yeah. So everybody understands that. This so it's people... like bonus hunters only, yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, you know you can understand that this traffic will be a low value, and uh, it's the same. For example, not not only about bonuses. It could be about betting school, for example, as well. And uh, if you talk about people who are looking for how to to make first bet, everybody understands that it's. Uh, yeah, I've heard that way. this strategy with bonuses, like placing bonuses or no deposit bonuses, can attract like low value users. Is yeah, that correct? It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, so it could be a pretty nice conversion rate from rec to deb, for example, but uh, average deposit will be so low. You know, one dollar, five dollar. Okay. Somebody looking for, um, for example, casinos or betting brands where it's possible to to. Uh, to bet on one euro for example one euro yeah, wow. minimal deposit one euro what about ltv of such players one deposit and that's it <laughs> i think yes okay yes. mostly it's so uh in general how websites should look like to attract uh, new users to have good results in google search there are no general rules nobody know how uh, google works exactly you know and uh, if I will know it, <laughs> I will get too much money for me, you know? Oh, and maybe some tricks, because there is a way, for example, to use artificial intelligence. We figured yeah. out it's not such effective right yeah. now, yeah? And probably there is a way to use, uh, I don't know, uh, something like social, uh, social media, yeah. uh, reviews written by real users, yeah. Yeah. maybe some hints or insights about what Google prefers yeah. most. Yeah. Uh, I would say that the main rule is uh, to give user all what he wants, you know. So, for example, if user looking for the review of, uh, for example, of some brands, uh, you have to give him exactly this. So, mm -hmm. of course, you will show him some ads, for example, on the page. Yeah. Of course, you can uh, you can try to send him some notification, for example, through email or push notifications. But in general, user. Uh, 
would like to get what he wants. And it's the main rule. You, you have to focus on it to, to, to give user all what he wants. Interesting. Yeah. And if we talk about newbies or beginners in this area, mm -hmm. uh, as I see, you have like plenty of experience, 54 websites, quite big amount, and yeah. I suppose you will go bigger even. Yeah. Uh, what are the main mistakes? Probably you tested some hypothesis uh, and figure yeah. out some yeah. mistakes. In my opinion, the, the main mistake in this, uh, in this uh, business is, uh, uh, is focus on one website. Uh, it is why we launch uh, 54 websites in one time. But if you're a newbie, it requires like big budgets to launch 54 websites. Of course, but uh, right now it's quite difficult to, 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 to be a single player in this market. Yeah. Everybody knows that, for example, look around, Katana Media, Excel Media, Geek Media, and uh, the competition is high. So if you would like to launch your own website and you would like uh, to get really big money from this uh, website, I guess, to be honest, at the time it's not possible. Or you are a very lucky guy. Okay, but, but for the beginner, what is the minimum amount? 50 websites like yours, or maybe it's possible to start with 5 or 10 websites? Based on example. our stats, uh, one of 10 websites bring you really good profit. And all these websites should be in one area, in one region, one country, about matter. one brand? It doesn't matter. Oh, so you, you can, can launch choose, in uh, different geos, yeah, different you, you, you languages? You can choose, for example, five websites for tier two countries, or for example, five, uh, five websites for tier three countries. It depends. So in general, it doesn't matter. But of course, uh, you have to understand that uh, the, the cost for content, for example, is different. And it depends uh, of the geo as well. For example, if you talk about uh, Germany language, it will be more expensive than, for example, English or Filipinas or something else. Like producing content, you mean? Yeah. It's yeah. high priced. Could you share with us some more examples? How do you promote such websites as you produce? I mean, uh, any additional traffic sources, probably Telegram channels or uh, context ads or anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, at the moment, we, we do not use some in other channels uh, instead ICO. But of course, Telegram and all social media is a good uh, channel of communication with users. And uh, maybe later we will start. We will uh, start to work with it. Isn't it a good strategy to use, like, for example, general keywords and put context ads on it to get uh, most quality traffic in the very beginning? Will it help it grow its growth? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and uh, nobody knows about it. As I said before, nobody knows how Google works exactly. You know, <laughs> and you. But can you try didn't it. try such approach. We didn't try it, but uh, in general and uh, actually. Uh, all ICO is about hypothesis. All ICO about uh, your previous experience. So if, for example, you, you try something, for example, okay, social media for new websites and it works, okay, scale it. Scale it right now on many websites around you. So all ICO is about hypothesis. You can try, 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 try. You should try, try every day. So the main approach is to do as much hypothesis, as much tries as you can. Yeah, it's true. But every ICO specialist have some, some maybe five, six approaches that already worked. Uh, what, what a way. Could you share it? I don't know. No, <laughs> not, now. not now. But it depends of, of the ICO specialist. You know, somebody would like to buy uh, low value links and it work in the short term, but uh, we don't do so because we know that good links is quite important for search. And uh, you do something maybe like crowd marketing, buying links for your websites of also? Of course, of course. It's the same for each affiliate company. How, how, how many links should you buy? You mentioned like maybe 10 websites. Okay, we get it. Maybe like uh, 10 or 20 articles at the beginning. Mm. And what about links? How many links should I, I buy? I can say some uh, approximately amount, you know, because it's quite difficult. You know how it works? That's, for example, ICO specialists have some, some hypothesis. Uh, he would like to test it. For example, I will write five articles and buy five links. And I will Will say, it be enough, really? Why not? Yeah, of course. It's everything about hypothesis, you know, that uh, nobody knows about it. So, for example, if uh, ICO specialists have some hypothesis, uh, for example, I would like to buy five uh, 
links and uh, five uh, articles. Yeah? And I think that it will promote us higher in the search. And so after this, uh, he will check it. And if it's so, okay, let's scale it. Let's scale it in another site and let's uh, buy five articles and five links for another website. So it's just about uh, your previous experience, you know. You know that it will be work exactly and you will do it. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I, I, can, uh, I can, uh, can tell you approximately numbers, you know. But if I will say that it's, uh, for example, 50 links, it will not help to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wonder because you know how it, it it's usually is. Uh, yeah. You try five websites, five links, and it doesn't work. Yeah, of course. So, and probably a newbie or the beginner in this yeah, industry has it, limited mean, budgets, yeah. limited investments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when it's uh, obvious uh, that uh, you will not be succeed with this project, maybe mm. such criteria, uh, not to run traffic or not to try develop the website, uh, which are dead. I guess uh, if you if you don't attract traffic in six months, uh, you can stop to do it with with, uh, with this website. With, with this website, yeah, because uh, it's too much time right now. And what about domain names? Mm -hmm. Which one should should uh, newbie or the beginner use all domain names, or it doesn't matter, and I can use just create something new, and that will be mm -hmm. fine also. Mm -hmm. Usually, all domain, of course, better. Uh, and it's better because uh, it's more trustly. Uh, it's more trustly for search, for example, for brands, and uh, um, it will be promoted uh, faster than new domain, for example. But uh, you have to check history of this domain. It but if you banned. if you're talking about faster promotion, how yeah. much time in comparison it takes? I guess if we talk about new domain, it's going to be quite difficult to promote it uh, less than one year. In my oh, opinion. really? Yeah, really. So, so. And for the old one? For old one, as I said, depends on the markets, of course. Uh, for example, six months, four months, eight months, one year. So the idea is to pick an old domain, but uh, you know, yeah. prices like are different. different. Yeah, of course. And doesn't matter to pick up a domain which costs, for example, $100 or of the course, domain with $10,000. Of, of course, uh, it depends on domain zone, of course. Uh, the second point, it depends on, on the, the history of the domain. Uh, and uh, of course, it depends on the seller. Yeah. <laughs> Building SEO websites is a profitable way, but it still has some potential disadvantages. It takes quite a lot of time, requires experience, and from time to time, essential budget. What if you have no experience and still look for profitable way of earning money, running ads with no restrictions? Consider the format of push advertising. It allows you to run ads all over the world in huge volumes without any restrictions. Try Rich Ads. It has 5 billion impressions daily all over the world. If you are interested in this ad format, would you like to know more and buy some ads, check the link in the description. We met Richard, he is Chief Operation Officer in Media24. So Richard, could you tell us about your way in affiliate marketing? Uh, I started a couple of websites, uh, I think about eight years ago, it was related to the sports, uh, sports news, sports betting. And then step by step I, I work with some casino companies and also with affiliate companies. I formed my own company uh, which worked as an agency, so I work with um, a lot of brands here in Baltic states. I help with uh, content projects and, and traffic and, uh, and then step by step I, we decided with my partner that we could uh, launch the affiliate, uh, affiliate network. Great, great story. And what about launching such kind of business like SEO agency, media company? What to start with? What are the main first steps? Oh, if we talk about uh, the company we have right now, the first step, of course, is expertise. So I have expertise in content going way back. And my partner, Martins, he's a, he's a SEO background. So, so we put all that together with, the, with the adding IT and commercial team. And then step by step, we, we build this business. So. And how much does it cost approximately to launch business like that? Oh, <laughs> of course, I will not tell you like precise amount, but oh, oh, it depends. Of, of course, you can uh, launch uh, 50, 54 sites with the uh, with, uh, with, you need some, some funds, of course, but uh, it depends. You can launch a couple of sites or do strategy as uh, we did. There's like, you know, sites maybe where we invest like a couple of hundred thousand euros and there's also sites where we 
uh, only some couple thousand. So, so it, yeah, it's, and the sky yeah, is the limit. Yeah, it's sky is the limit, and uh, it's all about priorities and the markets. And so we change concepts and change budgets. So, yeah, and your website told that you have in-depth uh, expertise in gambling industry, in customers' behavior, and so on. How do you get this expertise? For first of all, it's experience, experience of the to top management of the team. So. In our team, everybody is like work work in the industry at least everybody like 10 years and 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 work it with the on the operator side, on the bookmaker side, also on affiliate side, SEO side. So putting all this information together, we can build really useful products for our clients and uh, and um, build long-lasting relationships with the operators. It looks like you have a huge experience. And could you tell us about um, most common mistakes, for example, for beginners or someone who would like to invest in this industry uh, i think there could be like million of um, various mistakes which, which you can do but the main like yeah but the main biggest. thing but main thing is do not be afraid of mistakes we have done so many mistakes but as you are doing more mistakes you can get quicker to your goals and the main thing is just to don't make one mistake a couple of times uh, if we talk about specifics then it's um, I can talk about maybe content. Yeah, if you go into the market where you don't know the language, uh, you need to find uh, really good people who are uh, native speakers there. You need to find good proofreaders who can proofread. You need some local presence there. So, so sometimes uh, people think maybe you can just go on Upwork and find some freelancer and he will write uh, good content for you. But uh, if you don't check, if you don't double check, if you don't do like little little things and try to find like local presence in the markets then you can uh, lose a lot of time and money. So double checking and uh, not afraid of new tests. This is oh, yeah, the main advice. Of course, yeah, yes. Okay, great. And what about uh, key business metrics? I, I've, to I've talked with your colleagues and they told uh, that first deposits, revenue share, so I suppose it's turnover. But maybe you check in other uh, metrics like uh, impressions, traffic volumes, amount of websites or articles. Yeah. What do you track? So uh, every department tracks its own metrics. Uh, uh, but in general, uh, also the metric we didn't mention is like deposit amount. It, it, this business is built on uh, players database. So, so sometimes even, uh, even, uh, even if you're uh, having a bad month, you can see the if a deposit amounts overally in all portfolio of your websites are grow, growing then it, then it's a good sign so so i would say uh, adding to those those uh, those metrics which already is discussed and so maybe so yeah launching yeah. new websites yeah. and traffic volumes does yeah, tra it matter traffic volumes the so bigger the better i would i would i would say the quality matters not amount we we see uh, we see uh, a couple of uh, times that we have uh, like big traffic on uh, uh, some uh, landing pages, but it's it's not not the, those pages which bring the most uh, value in terms of money. So uh, so sometimes sometimes it uh, it depends. It's it, it's uh, sometimes it's a good, sometimes it's bad. It's uh, you cannot answer so general about uh, this question. So it's uh, more specific. Oh, I get it. I get it. And let's talk about EBITDA. Uh, h how big is it? Could you share some digits with us? Uh, at this moment, uh, we are we we haven't uh, counted it yet, but uh, we are growing like every month, every quarter, and uh, more to the end of the year, we we will share some numbers about it. But it's it, it's going to be fine. <laughs> and what about average digits on the market? How much such companies can earn? Uh, if, if you talk about margins on revenue, yeah. so. Uh, so there's cases there are even companies which work with a 70 percent of uh, profit margin. So, oh, really big. Yes. Yeah, so there, there are those cases uh, where you where you see that uh, the sky is the limit. So uh, of course at the start in the first 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 years, any company which works in affiliate, it's uh, you will work in the minus. But uh, if you do everything right, then um, then there is that edge that you can do more than 30 percent a year. Pretty pretty awesome. fine. Awesome yeah. results. And you mentioned you like reinvest money right now, yeah? And what business iterations do you have? Like you have plans and goals for a quarter, a year, or maybe a okay. bigger period? So, for, yes, of course, we have like a three-year plan, but uh, in this business, uh, it's sometimes very hard to plan things. Th things yeah. happen, and uh, one of our group biggest advantages right now is that we, have, we are a pretty small, small, small team with a pretty like good business so we can change change our plans uh, pretty fast 
so the, how often do you change it like every quarter every yeah, month so basically a quarter is like the big mi milestone of uh, we have a couple of departments we use okr system and uh, every department ha have it so uh, has its own goals uh, smaller goals uh, and uh, bigger goals in, in the in bigger plans so so of course we track it uh, all the time and we are we are okay to change change when we need to change nice, nice yeah. strategy yeah. and let's talk a little bit about your team which helps you to reach these goals yeah. yeah how does your team work here in Riga and why did you choose this city for your main office yeah. so basically why we choose it because we are originally from here and uh, it's only natural that uh, that we are here and also Riga is a good place uh, where you can find good specialists in the IT sphere, IT, IT and SEO. So that's like a two biggest advantage. And now we are looking also of, uh, to open office in uh, other locations. But in general speaking, we have office in Riga, we have office in another Latvian city, Valmira. Uh, but in general, uh, we have people working like full time for us all, all around the world. So uh, we are not like a big, uh, big uh, fans of office offices. So we are big fans of getting things done. So uh, office is not like a main main thing in uh, our uh, our, yeah, yeah, our it's strategy. good approach. Good yeah. approach. And you mentioned you have uh, remote workers all around the world. Yeah. In what countries? So uh, Ukraine, Poland, Spain, uh, um, Brazil, Venezuela, Serbia, Greece, uh, and maybe I forgot some so, so, some. So more. you have like special teams for special regions, or how? Oh, it, it depends. It depends. Uh, we have so many sites, but uh, to be honest, every site have its own goals, own priorities. That doesn't mean that all 54 sites uh, work in the one, one framework. Every site is different, uh, different concept, different uh, geos, different markets. So it depends on um, if you talk about internal teams for uh, for uh, markets, we have internal team for Spanish speaking uh, websites. We have uh, Spanish speaking writers, Spanish speaking content managers. So there's more like focus on that. And we are uh, at this moment exploring also to create these kind of teams in English and uh, in Portuguese and also maybe in French. Yeah, nice. Uh, as I see, you have like various uh, teams in various regions. And what are the main departments? So of course, like the whole whole like fundament of this business is basically two uh, two things, IT and SEO. So those are like two two things which create the fundament. And then if that's work good, then there is the third department with commercial side of it. And if SEO and IT works good, then commercial side can uh, make it uh, make uh, payday to everybody. So basically, yeah. basically those are like three big departments. And then there's like a li little teams in into these departments. And by SEO, you also mean copywriters. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, we, I know. There, yeah, there's companies where you decide, where you divide like SEO stuff and content side. We have decided to put everything up, uh, under the SEO roof, and under SEO department, we have a content department, and they work together. So they, so there wouldn't be some fights be between that. So then. you have managers all over the world, different departments. Is it really easy to manage it on remote? Uh, so uh, in the Riga office we have like top management so it's all about decisions if we can make fast decisions in Riga office then then it's no problem remote remote uh, remote workers mainly mainly uh, mainly do um, do some works where the communication in office is not so uh, so needed but uh, if they want they can do hybrid and come to office as I said the main thing is, is to get things done and uh, we have proven we uh, we can do that and uh, i'm r really happy for that because me, i also don't love office very much so uh, <laughs> so if i can work remotely yeah. sometimes yeah, that's um, true yeah. story about yeah. nowadays and what uh, business system do you use like matrix system hierarchical how do you combine these processes uh, mainly we have like c-level team uh, me martin Sean valentins we are like the key the key uh, decision makers and ev and uh, then everything goes and small uh, yeah. teams yeah. on every project yeah, we on have every a, website has yes. a small team. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a heads, head of IT, head of SEO, and basically then content managers, junior IT, you name it. Yeah, okay, uh, different people in different regions, uh, different markets for sure. And how do you set up KPIs for them? How do you motivate your team to work harder and bring more results? Uh, of course, the motivation is the main thing. Uh, so without without salary we pay a percentage to the to the some employees 
and uh, also f also uh, like what premium. it depends on what it depends uh, it on. depends on department so uh, for example commercial department sales of course it's a percentage of the sales uh, SEO stuff also the same uh, if the if uh, if we build a successful project and the main uh, main uh, reason why we did it is SEO of course the SEO also will get some percentage it's of a motivation the... on, on personal results or on business in general on business uh, growth? basically on business in general business in general but of course you cannot grow business in general if individual person doesn't provide the, the good results so uh, it, motivation is very important to us and uh, we we try to keep our employees happy yeah and one more question about your team so it's big it's in different regions as we discussed uh, what uh, tools do you use to track their results to communicate uh, in job processes yeah. to optimize yeah. everything so uh, we, we have tried a lot of systems and a lot of a uh, lot of uh, services but we have uh, at this point we have uh, stayed with the system called notion yeah I maybe know. you know so yeah notion sure. I think it's a short shout out to notion and they have uh, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. Slack to communicate or yeah, Zoom yeah, meetings, we use, uh, use Discord, uh, Discord, Discord, Google Meets and uh, all, all those uh, like things which are already so natural but like in uh, to, for a business goals, tasks, uh, uh, HR and, and stuff like that we use Notion, it's, it's, uh, it's been great for us uh, this far. And what tools do you use not to do like manual work to optimize business processes? For example, Ahrefs for yeah. collecting keywords. Yeah, and sure, so every department have like some some specific things like as you mentioned Ahrefs and some different different lot of tools for SEO guys so I think also something from IT and every department basically what about some. artificial intelligence it's quite a trend right now do yeah. you use it so yeah we, we have tried of course uh, we are trying it and on uh, as I told you we have different kind of concepts different kind of sites not on every site we, tr we are doing what it. did you try exactly chat GPT something like that yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, we we are now uh, testing uh, it to write some content for us uh, I cannot tell that we are already having like some good results but we are testing it we, we, we have like some investments in that part so uh, we'll see do it's you think this artificial intelligence can bring more value to the market or it's use, uh, useful or not I think it's, uh, it's of course it's very useful but uh, from our side it's of course it's content so uh, anyways content uh, should be edited it, it should be proofread that you cannot like just ask them to write something and just publish them you need to make some actions in any way to have some personal uh, personal not automatized uh, things to check before you publish it and uh, that's mainly the like main thing oh great that's it thank okay, you okay thank you thank you It's not a coincidence, we came here to Riga, Latvia to discuss iGaming and betting industries while World Hockey Championship. Valentin, could you tell us, do you use this event anyhow in your promotions? Uh, yeah, World uh, Championship is here, finally. And of course, we've got a few websites that uh, focused uh, on this event, of course. But we have to understand that uh, it is not large uh, event. It is not large uh, championship. Of course. Do you feel gross in the audience? Of course, of course. How many two, times? Three two, times. Three times. Two, three times, I guess. Yeah. And do but, you think these players will stay with you after this championship? Uh, or it's like accident players? Yes, it's accident players. Yes, it's true, it's true. So uh, usually we have to wait next world championship. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, then they will play. Yeah. So no chance to convert them further? Uh, we, of course, the chance we have any time, you know, but okay. who knows how it will work, exactly. Thank yeah. you, thank you. And so, there are many countries, people from many countries here in Riga, so let's discuss geos and target geos in your business. Mm -hmm. So, what are the main focus in your business? What countries? Uh, at the moment, uh, we are focused on uh, Spanish language countries and uh, Portuguese language countries. Uh, Actually, I would say that it's our um, the strongest geo in the world. I've heard that you have special strategies for native languages websites. Uh, could you tell more about it? Yeah, of course. Uh, when we launch new website, we have uh, the interesting structure inside it. So first of all, we have the main language. For example, it could be Spanish language. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, everybody knows that Spanish language is not about Spain. So you can choose another it's, from... It's about Spain, but not only yeah, about but, it, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's not only about Spain, yeah. So 
there are many countries in Latam, for example, the, where uh, Spanish language is the main. So uh, we create the main page about Spain, and uh, we're able to add additional pages about uh, countries where uh, this language is popular. Yeah, nice. And what domain zone do you choose for such websites? Because in Spain it will be like .s, in Chile another one. What is your strategy about domain names? All time we use only international domain zone. Only international. Uh, for so, example? Uh, .com, .tv, .info. So it's only international domain zone, not local domain zone. Nice, nice strategy. And you mentioned Latin America in this yeah. example. So it's quite growing market right now. Yeah. Uh, would you tell us more about your focus on this geo? What are perspectives on this market? What is your strategy about it? Last few months, our websites in LATAM uh, have uh, rapidly grown. And uh, we would like to invite new advertisers to us and start our partnership in LATAM market. Uh, so uh, at the moment, we've got a few huge uh, websites. Uh, that already able to, to bring you thousands of players, I would, I would say. Nice, yeah. nice, very cool. And what about difficulties on this market? Maybe you can share some advice with advertisers, what they should improve in their products to make their products more convertible. Yeah, yeah. As usually, and uh, it's uh, relevant for each one market, the main problem usually with payment methods. So, uh, I highly recommend to operators uh, to dive deeper in this uh, in the in the structure of payment methods in the product. So we mean now it's like one payment per casino betting product, and that's it. Or what is the issue? I mean that uh, in each market uh, there are many payment methods, mm. and uh, each operator should understand that uh, some payment methods uh, can be more popular for users in this market. Uh, or maybe another one payment method uh, will be more popular. So it's quite important to understand your audience in this part, so understand which one payment method will be most popular for this market. Nice, I hope this advice will help potential advertisers. Yeah. And let's discuss another potential geo. I've heard a lot about it for last month. Mm -hmm. It's Africa, like yeah. a continent in general. Yeah. There are many countries and I've heard mm -hmm. it's also growing. Yeah. Could you tell us your insights about this geo? Uh, to be honest, at the moment we don't have a uh, huge amount of traffic in this region. Uh, but I would say that uh, if you talk about uh, amount of players, uh, we can say that it's a very huge duo. But uh, if you talk about value of players, it's another thing. So it will be quite low. What do you mean by value of players? I mean... Uh, low value? Uh, low value, yeah. Like what is the average deposit in Africa? Uh, One dollar or could less? Be, it could be one, two dollars, yeah. Oh, it's really? Be, yeah, it's really so. But I guess that... And payment uh, methods are ready to accept such size of payments? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But, okay. uh, but I believe that in maybe in 10 years this region will be number first in the world. But right now it, I can say that it uh, could be thousands of players, but... Uh, amount of deposits will be quite low yeah yeah and another like stunning geo is tier one countries us canada australia yeah. and so on and i've heard many brands appear here yeah. uh, could you tell us about your expertise in this market uh, right now we've got a few websites in uh, tier one countries but i can't say that it's quite huge but because why uh, markets is not huge or your website uh, our website yeah, yeah. Our what website. is your plan uh, to be honest, it's pretty expensive Jews right now. You know? Oh, you and need like essential budgets? Uh, yeah, of course, and uh, take many risks. Essential yeah. budgets like one million dollars plus to begin with mm. or maybe more? I guess yes, I guess um, even, more? even more, yeah, even oh. more. So if we will focus on uh, tier two countries, it will be better because the risk is low and uh, average uh, deposit will be maybe low, of course, than in tier one country, but if we compare the risk and the value, it will be better, of course. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you for your recommendation. And uh, the next question is about uh, the direction where to develop uh, mm -hmm. your business and such businesses as yours. Do you see any trends, insights, what markets will profit in the next year or two? Mm -hmm. Uh, in general, everybody sees that uh, crypto casinos and uh, crypto payment methods uh, become, uh, become uh, uh, quite popular among the users. All over the world or special All countries? All over the world, yeah, of course. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The main reason why it's so is uh, regulation. So last two years, uh, there were many countries uh, who restricted gambling or uh, legalized gambling. 
and uh, it's become difficult to 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 make deposit uh, through the classic uh, payment method. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is why people uh, uh, trying to deposit uh, through the cryptocurrency, crypto wallets, and something else. Okay, uh, interest, interesting fact. And uh, when you go to a new geo. Uh, what market research do, do you do? Like mm -hmm. GDPs, uh, population, uh, internet access, and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, what m main things you pay attention? Yeah, yeah. First of all, we collect information from our partners, from our uh, operators with whom we already work. And uh, it is the main, uh, the main information for us because uh, these teams already work with this geo. So, of course, you can explore population, GDP, or something so else. So, if you're a newbie, the best strategy is to make some friends on the market of and course, to get of insights. Course, of course, what In my stuff. opinion, it's the uh, most important things in our market. When you're able uh, to call your friend and ask, okay, Vasily, what about uh, Africa market, for example? <laughs> and you will, uh, and I will get I'm sure, I'm sure Africa is quite good. Yes, it's quite good, but I said you Small that, deposits, uh, small but it's big, with yes, big potential. Yes, and so. internet access, like, growing. Yeah, yeah. It, and uh, it will growing in uh, five ten years and as, as I said in ten years okay it will be market number one I guess no, really? but right now I'm not sure not sure cool you mentioned your main focus on Latin America yeah, for the nearest true. future but you you and your colleagues also mentioned that you have plans for nearest three years to yeah. earn one million dollars yeah. a month yeah are you going to do it only with Latin America market or yeah. you're going to uh, create websites for new one also yeah of course it depends on the future of course if our websites in latam region uh, will grow of course we will focus on this market of course yeah, sure. but uh, as we see that uh, this region uh, grow rapidly right now so i guess that uh, next one or two years we can focus on latam market so it will be enough i guess but who know maybe tomorrow it will be changed so so, so it's obvious nowadays Right. Yeah, it's now this nice. moment, yeah. at this moment, everybody should focus on Latin yeah, America yeah, yeah. because yeah. I've heard the same, yeah. not only about yeah, SEO yeah. but about PPC, Facebook, Google yeah. Ads, brands in general. Many yeah. brands enter the market and yeah. so on. Yeah, yeah. 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 cool. Yeah. So everybody should understand that our gaming market uh, is uh, uh, is very dynamic market. So okay, we see today that uh, Latam market is growing, yeah, but uh, it could change for one day. No. Oh, okay. really? Of course. For example, if the government of Brazil will decide to regulate this industry, okay, maybe not in one day, but in half of a year it will be changed. Okay, thank you for your expertise about Latin American market. I'm sure it's quite big and everybody should take attention, pay attention to this market because it's growing, there are many brands uh, entered the market and many brands are on the way. So, let's earn some money and launch casinos and betting projects in Latin America. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank video. you so much, Vasily, for the invitation. Uh, it's a pleasure for me and my team. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys.